We are keeping rain in the forecast tonight, but adding fog as well. We have a lot of low level moisture and light winds around, and that's going to create perfect conditions for visibility to drop to near zero around daybreak, especially for the outlying suburbs far west and northwest, where we could see those visibilities drop close to zero. Maybe we'll see a dense fog advisory issued in the morning. We'll watch for that. Meantime, cold rain continuing for us tomorrow, but it looks like it'll be out of the way in time for Thanksgiving. So that rain is light but persistent. And as we back it out here, I want to roll this into motion just to show you the driving factor of this whole system. We have low pressure here that is starting to drive some very heavy rain bands into Missouri. This low is actually connecting with the tropics, with the Gulf of Mexico, drawing all that moisture into our neighborhood as well. And that's why the rain is forecast to continue. The fog will be with us in the morning as well. I went our visibility tracker showing that zero visibility northwest, even in parts of northwest Indiana. So outlying areas that typically see fog are really going to see poor visibility in the morning. So showers overnight weaken as the fog develops. But by noon tomorrow, I think we're going to have some heavier downpours. Can't rule out a thunderstorm either because that area of low pressure is going to drive enough rain here and enough instability where we could possibly see that. So keeping rain, especially for the morning and that midday hour when it could be the heaviest. After that, once the sun goes down, then we start to clear things out as far as drying out. And that will leave us with a dry pattern for Thanksgiving Day. So I went with a high of 50. We may start with clouds, Brad and Marie, but end up with sunshine. And it's a good looking holiday weekend with warmer than normal temperatures, actually. Looks good. Thank you, Mary Kay.